A cross section of Nigerians have paid glowing tributes to the late Rear Admiral Ndubisi Kanu, who died on January 13 at the age of 77. Dr. Ogbo Naya Onu, Minister of Science and Technology, at a night of tributes organized in honor of the deceased, described him as a great Nigerian who did great things for the nation. Onu, who extolled the late Kanu's virtues of honesty, hard work, and love for humanity, urged the youth to imbibe the values he stood for. Late Admiral Godwin Ndubuise Kano. He was a great Nigerian who did great things for our generation. This is a man who God showed special blessings. He gave him intellect. He was a very intelligent man. All through his academic career, before and during when he was in the armed forces, he was always distinguished. He always displayed that extraordinary intelligence. But what is special about him is that most intelligent people, or many intelligent people, very often are seen to be arrogant. But late Admiral Ndubisi Kanu was so humble. He loved excellence. And wherever he found excellence, he stood by it. He was a man of character. And it is important that a man like late Admiral Ndubisi Kanu, should his life history should be made known all over the country because we want our younger people to know that yes, character is important, that good behavior is very, very important, and that standing on principle can make a lot of difference. There are certain values that made our fathers very great. And those values are no more taken as seriously as they were in the past. And Admiral Ndubisi Kanu represents those good values. The value of honesty, the value of hard work, the value of principle, and the value of making sure that whenever you see your fellow human being, you will recognize the image of Almighty God in that person and show love for him or her. These are the values that we need to inculcate into our young people and they will lay the foundation for Nigeria to quickly get to where all of us want it to be. My joy is that while he was with us here, he lived a very good life. Look at the performance. Look at his contributions to his community, to Nibu, to Nigeria. And wherever he has gone to, whether in India, United States, as a military officer, he left behind very wonderful memories. Similarly, Professor Charles Nwokeaku, Secretary General of Ime Obi Ohaneze Ndibu Abuja Chapter, described the late Kanu as a gallant and courageous military officer who completed his service without blemish. He said Kanu also supported the restoration of democracy in the country. He was a gallant and courageous soldier. He distinguished himself. He was also a selfless public servant because he completed his service without blemish. 
as an evil man when his colleagues in the Armed Forces Ruling Council are not the June 12th election, but it have been won by MKO Abiola, a Yoruba man. He stood his neck. That's why he joined Nadeko and fought for the restoration of that very mandate. And you know that that mandate was restored. By 1999, when the Southwest were allowed to fill two candidates in the two major political parties, that was apparently the restoration of that thing. That was when Olufale and the, um, Olus, uh, 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 yeah, Obasanjo contested. So that is whether head or tail, the Southwest were adequately compensated. Today, if Kalu were to be alive, what would be his thing? He fought for a man, Southwest, his mandate to be reactivated. 